Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooklyn if you're new here and this is my son Emmett. He is 13 weeks old as of yesterday and today is actually like his three month birthday. So he is getting so big. We have not filmed an update yet and I am like so mad at myself about it. I watched Ashley's update on Jack when Emmett was about 10 and a half weeks old. Um, they, she has a little boy who is just two weeks younger than Emmett and their channel is Holton Ashley if you want to check them out. But I watched her video and it gave me some major motivation to sit down and film Emmett's updates. So I did and then a couple weeks went, back, went by because I went back to work and he started daycare and we've just been so busy. So now I'm sitting down and I'm going to film all three months, tell you guys exactly what's been going on with him and how this little guy is growing and developing. So if you're interested in seeing it, then just keep watching and we're going to jump into it because it's going to be a long video. So he was born at 9 pounds, 8 ounces and was 20 inches long. And um, when we left the hospital, he was down to 8 pounds, 12 ounces. Um, my milk came in the, that day that we left and two days later he was back up to 9 pounds, 5 ounces. So he has not stopped that trend. He is gaining weight like a madman. Okay, so at one month old, he weighed 11 pounds, nine ounces. And at two months old, he was 13 pounds and six ounces. And then at three months old, which David weighed him last week, and he was 15 pounds even. So I guarantee you he's more than 15 pounds now because it's been a week. So he is packing on the pounds for sure um he never really got into newborn diapers because he was circumcised so they wanted him to be in size one immediately just so that they weren't too tight on him um, we switched him to size two around two months old he definitely could have went a little bit earlier um, but the blowouts started to be excessive every diaper he was blowing out of we're like okay it's time to change him or move him up the tabs on his diapers were still like reaching the point to where they fit it's like a little hack if you didn't know the diapers show you like when to bump up in sizes um but they were getting snug and we knew we were just trying to get through the rest of size ones um but that didn't last long so we moved him up to size two diapers around two months old and he is so close to being in size three actually i think he might be able to fit in size three because they kind of overlap so Currently, he's still in size two, but we're moving to size three really fast. He could wear newborn clothing for like a week, um, but then it was pretty much just zero to three in three month clothing until he was about five to six weeks old. And then we bumped him up to three to six month clothing. And then by the time he was like seven weeks old, he was fully in Carter's six month clothing. So he right now is wearing, he can fit in some six to nine month clothes, but he's mainly wearing three to six and six month um, clothing for the most part. As far as eating, he's been pretty consistent with eating from the time he was born. He started off to where he was every two to three hours um, eating and just recently probably when he was about nine weeks old i got him on a really good schedule so that meant to cut out nighttime feeds i'm feeding him every two to two and a half hours so that he's getting more calories during the day and he is sleeping at night and let me tell you he is sleeping at night we will get to that in a little bit but right now um as far as feedings he is eating every um, two to two and a half hours and he has been doing that since about 10 weeks old. Are you eating your fist? This is new. This is a new thing. Um, which we'll touch on in a second, but I'm going to put a bib on him because he drools non-stop. So I'm sure that's what you're doing right now, huh? So he is a really, really good eater. Um, like I said, he is breastfed, but he eats like a champ. I honestly have to cut him off between like 10 and 12 minutes or else he will overeat. I know you're not supposed to cut off breastfed babies, but he will overeat and then he will puke nonstop. So he gets cut off um, as long as I can tell that he's gotten like a really good amount. I have to cut him off from eating. <laughs> and... Um, we did go do a weighted feed when he right before I went back to work so he was about 11 weeks old 
and he ate four ounces in 10 minutes. So that just shows you like he eats fast. Um, so he's eating really, really well. Okay, so as far as sleeping goes, he's always been like a really good nighttime sleeper. Um, whenever we brought him home, he was sleeping like two to three hours at night. And then we even had some nights that he was sleeping like five hours. Um, but that's like gradually increased, I would say. Okay, so from around like seven to eight weeks he was sleeping consistently probably six to seven hours and then 10 weeks old it was seven to eight hours um and then as of like 10 weeks old nine to 10 weeks old we started the schedule the um eat play sleep schedule and he has done amazing with it it's actually time for him to sleep right now and you can tell he's getting fussy and i could just lay him down and he will self-soothe himself to sleep. So I'm actually gonna lay him up there in his dog tot and let him go take a little nap because he's getting tired. Okay, he is up there laying down. Usually I would have the lights off in here and um, he would sleep really well. So we'll see how this goes, but he's wide awake and he will put himself to sleep due to this schedule that we have him on. So he's on the eat play sleep schedule so he eats every two to two and a half hours and then he will play for anywhere from um, 45 minutes to an hour and once he starts showing me signs that he is tired so as you just saw he was getting just a little bit fussy um i will lay him down with his pacifier his lovey and swaddle him up and he will self-soothe himself to sleep i never have to like rock or nurse him to sleep ever so that has been awesome i will say our nights are just a little bit different he usually falls asleep while he's nursing and i always end up waking him up because i have to burp him and hold him up for 10 to 15 minutes but he stays in like a drowsy state so at that point i don't wake him up to do like last play session or anything before the night i always just keep him really relaxed and keep like the volume and the lights and stuff down and i'll take him straight from that feeding and lay him down and he's always like drowsy he's awake he's never like sound asleep so I put him down and he falls asleep instantly by himself and then he sleeps anywhere from 9 to 12 hours at this point so that's kind of what our schedule looks like it has worked awesome for us I always put him down between 7 and 8 p.m. and sometimes he is extremely tired at 6 and like ready to go to bed so I try to kind of keep him um, as entertained as I can and keep him kind of awake we'll do like our bath and stuff like that but um, sometimes I put him down before 7 and he just wakes up a little bit earlier which is fine but that's just how our schedule works so that's how sleeping's going for us Okay, as far as milestones go, I have been using the Wonder Weeks app and I absolutely love it. I've mentioned it a couple of times, but that app is amazing for tracking their mental leaps and milestones and stuff like that. So he has hit three mental leaps so far and every single one of them have been lined up with this Wonder Weeks app and it's awesome. So the first leap, he was like super fussy and clingy and I think that was around like four to five weeks. Um, and that's when I downloaded the app because I'm like, what is going on with him? And I downloaded the app and I was like, it's a mental leap. So that was really nice and re really like reassuring to have that app to be able to tell like when they're not acting like themselves, like why they're not acting like themselves. So he overall is not a fussy baby at all. He doesn't cry a ton unless like he doesn't feel good or he's going through a mental leap. So overall, he's like really, really happy um, and he's been like that since he's been born. So we're really lucky in that area. We did have some gas issues with him and I mentioned this in my last um, breastfeeding tips Q&A video, or that wasn't the Q&A, it was the tips and essentials video. Um, he did have a lip tie and we did get that revised around five weeks old. I talked more in detail about that in my last video, so I will link that down below if you guys want to go um, check that out. But he did have a lip tie, we got that revised and that fixed a ton of his gas issues that he had up until he was five weeks old. So gas isn't really that big of an issue for us or belly issues or anything like that. So 
um, that happened. He had his first sickness at around seven weeks old. It was around Christmas. We were supposed to go up to Michigan and see family and we ended up just staying home and secluded ourselves for the holidays. Um, so he never got really, really bad. He had a low grade temp. I think it, the highest it got up to was like 99.6 and he was super just congested and you could just tell he didn't feel very good. So that was around seven weeks old and I'm not gonna lie, it was really scary the first time that your baby is sick you're just like ah but we made it through um he had extremely bad gagging ever since he was born he would um do gagging at night and grunting grunting was more of the gas which he stopped doing that when we got the lip tie revised but the gagging was so so scary there were so many times when david was asleep because he works night shift that i would have emmett and he would start gagging and he, i couldn't get him to breathe david is a nurse so i would run into the bedroom and i'm like make him go make him breathe like it was so scary um one i mean david's had to do like the baby high look on him on him a couple of times just to get that like phlegm out of him and this was when like he was really little i mean he wasn't he didn't know how to cough yet he didn't know how to like clear his airways so that was really really scary um and like i said he did that from birth up until probably like ugh, eight weeks old maybe um he would have like those episodes and we would have to suction him out and it was extremely scary in the middle of the night whenever I would be alone with him and I'm just like what if I don't wake up one time when he's gagging and get him like up and get him breathing because I mean it was scary anyways we had him sleeping propped up we had him in his rock and play for a couple of weeks and I know that that's not like sleep safe it's not recommended um, but I had him swaddled in his rock and play right next to the bed um, because of this gagging issues that he was having so he was in that for a couple weeks and then we transitioned him to we have this new smart sleeper and he has slept in that um, consistently since we took him out of the rock and play if he would have really really bad nights with gagging or days with gagging and reflux we would put him in the rock and play to sleep at night and we had no issues with that um his snoo is elevated also so that helps but that was one really really scary thing was gagging like I mentioned, he had reflux around five weeks when we took him to the pediatrician to check out the lip tie. Um, she gave us some reflux meds that he took for like maybe a week. And then he got super congested and we were doing like the nasal um, the nasal spray and then suctioning with the nose Frida. And it was just making him vomit. It didn't matter when we did it but the saline was breaking up all of the mucus and then we would try to give him his um meds for reflux and it was so thick he would just puke it up as soon as we gave it to him so we kind of just gave up on that and uh we haven't really gave him the reflux meds in weeks really and um he's been doing a lot better with that we've started obviously he started daycare and we've started like paste bottle feedings with him and then um he just eats a lot while he breastfeeds so i'm having to like stop him halfway through and burp him and then put him back on so that's gotten a lot better but that was something that we were dealing with and then i have a lot of his little milestones written down so he started to smile around five to six weeks old he was giving us like social smiles and that was part of his second mental leap um and then he started giving us like really really easy smiles where he would just look at you and smile and you wouldn't have to like really work to get a smile out of him around nine and a half weeks old um, and these are just guesses. I'm trying to go off of like pictures. Um, so I like went back and looked through my camera roll and tried to figure out like when this stuff happened. But he was giving us really easy smiles around nine and a half weeks old. Um, his second mental leap was like hitting toys. Um, it was still kind of like pup puppet like motions. So he started hitting his toys and playing and really um, paying attention to like his play gym and noticing the toys and stuff like that around seven weeks old. 
And that's how I was able to get him into this routine and the schedule of the eat, play, sleep because he was really starting to play. So once your baby is showing signs of like playing and noticing and interacting with toys, then I think that's when you could introduce the schedule. You don't want to do it like too early. But he was really um, spending a lot of time just hitting his toys and he started to like coo and talk at them during the second mental leap. So it was all around the same time. Um... And then he got extremely talkative around like nine weeks old. He, I, I feel like I could carry a conversation with him. Um, I did a nighttime routine recently. My last one, it's like a full night. Hi. And I was like getting him ready for bed. And you could just tell we were having like a conversation. Um, so he's really talking. And that's been so much fun. I absolutely love his little baby babbles. They are my favorite. Um... As far as like his head strength and stuff like that goes, we have done tummy time since basically he's came home from the hospital and he's loved, loved tummy time. He's never really had an issue like hating tummy time. Uh, he's always had a super, super strong neck, head and back. He holds himself up all the time. I mean, he was doing it as an infant, um, like newborn. He was holding his head so well and he was like, we could sit him upright and he would hold himself up at like seven weeks old, I want to say. I mean, he is incredible. I can't remember exactly, but his head strength and back and neck and everything is just like out of this world. At about seven weeks, he started to stand like with us holding him and he loves it. So he always wants to be like in the standing position and he holds himself up so well um obviously it's been several 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 weeks since he started doing that but um at seven weeks old we were like this is not normal um and then he also was sitting in his bumbo seat at like eight weeks old um his head like his head strength and stuff like that is just crazy i've i've never had a baby before i am a first time mom so i don't really know when these things happen but from what everyone's telling me it's pretty crazy that he's able to control his movements and sit up unassisted like he doesn't sit up unassisted but hold himself up so well unassisted um is not really usual for his age okay so i went back to work just a couple days before he hit 12 weeks old and david got his first little laugh on film on camera it was the day i went back to work and of course he laughed for david he hasn't really done it since so it's been about a week and a half since he did that and he hasn't really done it since but i do have that clip of him laughing and it was so sweet <coughs> <laughs> and then literally literally the next day david sends me a video of him rolling over for the first time i know So he did all of these things when I went back to work. Um, but he like got really, really mad and rolled over and he did from belly to back. So David works with him on tummy time, rolling over every day, several times a day. Um, David is home with him three days a week and then he is at daycare two days a week. So he does get a lot of like one-on-one -on -one time with David and David gets to work with him on these things. So like I said, he loves tummy time. He's holding his head up like incredibly right now um and he has started to roll over he has to get really mad to do it but he's definitely started doing it and david's even working with him rolling over from back to belly and i'm telling him i'm like david once he starts doing that it's a whole new world like a whole new world you can't let him do a lot of things when he starts rolling so he is starting to do that as far as his two-month checkup went he did get his vaccines he did really well with those and he was 23 inches long at his two month checkup and then we just measured him probably like a week ago and he was 25 inches long so he definitely went through a growth spurt he's currently sitting at like 25 inches long and 15 pounds maybe even bigger because he it's been a week 
Um, he is in his third mental leap, with, which is like smooth transitions. So he's starting, he, well, he's been following you for a really long time. I would say it was probably like eight weeks he was really following. If you put your phone in front of you with the front facing camera, he would follow you. Um, but he's been following things for a long time, but he is like across the room following you now, which is so fun. And he's really starting to hit things with like intention and he'll like look at me and he'll stare at like my arm or something and then he'll reach up and grab it. So he's like really starting to figure out how to use his hands. Um, he's been sucking on his hands as you saw earlier. That's part of this leak too. Good? It's like blowing and bubbles and sucking good? on your thumb. He's choosing to suck on his whole fist. Um, and then he's been drooling. He's been drooling for probably uh, about a month since he was probably two months old. His drooling, it's mainly when he's sitting up or standing and he's like really, really trying to like control himself and concentrate, he will drool. So he's constantly in bibs because he soaks himself. He loves to play on his little Einstein's activity mat. He has the Fisher Price sit me up that he loves to play in. Um, <clears throat> He loves the Baby Shark song, so we will play that for him, and he just, like, grins really big, and he's really close to just laughing, but he doesn't laugh for me. He's only laughed that one time. Overall, he's just, like, a super happy baby. He's very chill. He can just, like, lay back and just hang out and be totally happy. So I feel like we're really, really lucky in that aspect um like i said he did start daycare he only goes to daycare two days a week on mondays and fridays and overall she said that he's been doing really good he doesn't really nap as well for her but i think it's just because it's such like a new place that he just has too much to look at and he doesn't want to go to sleep so he doesn't nap as well for her but he naps really well for us like i said he back there and you've seen the entire process he didn't cry at all going back a little bit his cord fell off when he was 16 days old which i feel like it took forever so he got his first bath in and he has loved bath time ever since the beginning the bath time is his favorite he almost always poops in the tub i guess he just gets so relaxed he just lets it out so that's fun for me he poops so much so much we've had so many blowouts and explosions in the nursery i mean he has pooped clear across the nursery it's like you lift the butt up and it's like a water gun um so we have learned let me tell you when we brought him home in the first couple weeks this nursery had poop and pee all over it but we've learned to kind of like work it out for probably 10 minutes before we change his diaper if we know he's pooped we always work out more poop and gas for like 10 minutes before we change his diaper um and like i said he poops a lot probably like four times a day and now that he's sleeping these long stretches at night usually if he wakes up it's because he needs to poop to be honest with you so I always try to make sure he has a really good bowel movement before he goes to bed so that he sleeps a long stretch otherwise if he doesn't then he will wake up at like 2 30 needing to poop so um that's one thing. And speaking of that, he did have a really, really, really bad diaper rash when he was like five weeks old. Um, he was having them on and off and I went through every single ointment, butt paste, diaper, cream, rash there was. I mean, every single one of them. Um, and we could not get these to clear because he was having so many bowel movements in a day. So um, it was basically like an open wound. I mean, I'm not kidding. It was awful. And finally, we used A&D, and that worked for us. So we've been using A&D preventatively with every diaper change since then, um, since he was five weeks old, and he has not had a diaper rash since. So that has been awesome because it was, like, awful, and you just felt bad for him. So we make sure whenever he had that really bad one, we would dry it off really well and then put Andy on it, and it was healed in just a couple days. So that was one other thing I did want to mention. But yeah, I feel like my child is massive. My best friend just had a baby a week ago, and we went and saw her yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw the pictures. It was little Emmett and Letty, and she is, like, barely seven pounds. She's six something. And my kid is huge. I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, he was never that small, but he is just like growing and towering everyone. 
Okay, so I think I covered everything. I was kind of all over the place. I tried to keep this like as organized as I could, but it's just so hard when you're covering three months at a time. So I'm going to try and remember to do monthly updates from here on out. But overall, he's just like so smart and he's growing so fast and it's true. It's true what they say. You literally blink and they have grown like so much. So cherish every little moment with your baby and snuggle them up when they're crying at night. Just know that it's not going to last forever. I mean, I'm already down to where I don't even hardly hold him at night and I only get to see him for a couple hours a day since I am a working mom. So, um, snuggle and cherish every single one of those little minutes because they're going to be gone before you know it. And yeah. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You can go follow me over on Instagram if you want to stay up to date on like a daily basis with us because I post cute pics of Emmett all the time. And yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.